Welcome to how to make iPhone apps. In this video we will learn the following. Let me introduce you to Sean. Thanks Sean, take it away. In this session we're going to create a, a simple filter app. So you'll be able to see how to change or apply a filter to an image. So that will be a special effect for your images. Go ahead and start Xcode. Go to File, New, Project. And in the iOS application tab, select the Single View application. Create Next. We're going to call this product Filter Demo. And um, we're going to use automatic reference counting. And our device says will be iPhone. Go ahead and select Next. Go ahead and create your project where you want to, preferably in your documents. Select Create. Now we have our app open and the very first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and add a framework. Because we're going to be working with Core Image to apply filter. Um, with this filter demo project selected, Select the targets, making sure you have this utility pane selected. You should see this targets here. Select the build settings, the build phases, the link binary with libraries, select that. So from build phases, link binary with libraries, select the plus button. And we're going to add core image uh, framework. Go ahead and select that and select the add button. Now you'll see on this here the frameworks has been added. Core graphics. Actually no. It might have ended up in this right up here. So you can drag it if you want. Left drag to drop it into this frameworks folder. It's not a requirement, but it's good to be organized. So now that we have our framework that we're going to work with, let's go ahead and set up the user interface. So with your filter view controller, so dot zip selected, go ahead and select the run button. We'll just see what this looks like. And in the simulator, we just have a um, blank app. Go ahead and select the simulator, quit, and um, let's go ahead and lay out our user interface. So with the zip selected and this utilities icon selected, go ahead and select an object from this list. Object. We're going to select an image view, so scroll down till you find it. There's an image view. We're going to left drag and drop it. We actually, we'll just drop it on the side here. And now, using your mouse, go ahead and shrink this down, this image view. Drag it using your mouse. Um, if you hold down the left mouse button, you can manipulate this image view. Go ahead and center it by dragging. So make it in a pretty nice shape. So we have an image view. We're also going to add a button. So from this objects, utilities pane, objects, go ahead and drag the um, round rec button. Left drag it into here. And double click on here the text to change the text. Type in apply filter. So now we have an image and we have a button that we want to apply a filter to. Um, well, let's go ahead and add a supporting file which will be our image that we want to apply the filter to. Um, with supporting files selected, control, right click, and select add files to filter demo 
and in your sample code you should have a folder called graphics. Go ahead and select the graphics folder and the filter folder and there's this image called trees. Let's go ahead and select that. Um, go ahead and allow it to copy. Select add. Now we have this trees image and we want to add it to our user interface. So go ahead and select the zip. Uh, select the UI image view. I'm making sure this pane is selected the utilities. And this attributes inspector is selected. Go ahead and select an image using this drop down. Select trees. So now we have a nice looking user interface, at least from this design here. We have our trees that we're going to apply a filter to. Uh, let's go ahead and tie tie these UI image, this user interface, um, to our implementation code. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the header file and we're going to define a couple properties. The first property we're going to um, set up in our header is this property of an IB outlet. And so we in the header file, go ahead and type in this property, IB outlet, for a UI image view. Um, so what this says is we want to have a reference, this image view, to this UI image view. And we're, we're going to set that up. And then, so once you type that in, uh, we're going to add an, an IB action as well. And that IB action of filter button pressed uh, with this ID of sender. And what this does for us is it will be the event um, that we will execute code for when the apply filter button is pressed. Our next step is to um, go ahead and put this filter button pressed method in our implementation file which is our m file. Go ahead and copy it and paste it here. So now we have an IB action that we're going to our code is going to go here for that filter button and then we're going to also go back to the header file copy the name of your property which is image view and go to the implementation file and we're going to synthesize that property so that now it's available in our implementation view then go back to your zip and let's hook up this image view and this filter button pressed event. Go ahead and select that zip. We're going to select the image. And of course, we're going to show the utilities. And we're going to go to the connections. So with the utility selected and the connections inspector, left drag the outlet to our files owner and now we're going to select the image view so now this user interface control is available to our header file and then with the apply filter button go ahead and select the connections inspector as well and with the touch up inside left drag this to the file owner and select the filter button pressed.
So now we have this button hooked to this event. And now we're going to go ahead and implement the code uh, for what happens, the filter, when they actually select this button. So we'll navigate to your M file and navigate to the filter button pressed event and let's go ahead and write some code. Now the first order of business is to um, use a CI image, which is a core image, uh, grabbing the image views image, CG image, we're going to get a CI image, which is a core image, and this is the image that we're going to be able to pass to our filter for core image, for the core image frame framework. Uh, let's go ahead and um, set up a filter. So this filter is called CI Sepia Tone and if you look, if you copy this, Command C, go to Help, Documentation API. If you search for CI Filter you can find um, other filters uh, this core image programming guide is a good reference. Uh, let's go ahead and close this. So there are other filters available to you to use. And you should ex definitely explore that. We're going to set up an option. Actually, we're going to pass in our CI image, which is this image, to the filter. And you do that by setting this value for the key of input key image key. So we just assign the input image to our filter. Now we're going to have another option. Let's go ahead and with this filter we're going to set up the input intensity. Um, and so you can play around with this float value. Uh, change that to whatever number you want to see the effect uh, that brings to your image. And then now we're going to go ahead and get the result of our filter. So we have this resultant image um, using this value for key. Uh, we grab the output image. And now we need to figure out how to display this resultant image back onto our image view image. Because our image view image is not, you know, it's not a CI image. Um, we need to convert it to a UI image. So there's some processing that we need to do, some handling for this. Handle the conversion of the CI image to a standard UI image. And just bear in mind that when we're using the core image framework, um, we're working with a lower API. Um, so what that means is we do have to um, use some, we have to re make sure that we release uh, our references properly. And uh, I'll show you how to do that. So with the context, we're going to create a CI context and um, we're going to create a CI image ref with the context of our resultant image here um, we're going to be able to um, handle this conversion to a UI image and as you see here um, we call the UI image by allocating it with this reference and then we just go ahead and set the UI image set image so now this image view has our new image that has the filter applied to it and of course like I said this is a lower API um, make sure that you release the, the reference 
by calling this method passing in of course your image ref so now this whole long process um, you'll be able to work with this framework to change your filters as well as setting your options each filter will have different options um, for the filter let's go ahead and run it and see how that works go ahead and apply the filter as you see we have a nice sepia tone to it Congratulations, you have completed the class for how to do filters.